Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will download and install Docker on our computer. To download and install Docker on your computer, open Google and in the Google search box, type Docker install. Once you type Docker install, press enter. On the Google search results, the URL is docs.docker.com and under get Docker, you can read the description here. This description says, install Docker on a computer. This is what we want. We'll click Get Docker. On this page, you will see the different operating systems you can install Docker on. We are installing Docker on our Windows computer. So I'll select Docker Desktop for Windows. On this page, click the Docker Desktop for Windows button. Once you click this button, it is going to download the executable file to your computer and you can see it here. In case if you don't see the executable file here, go to your downloads directory. It is usually downloaded into your downloads directory. I'll right click on this and I'll click show in folder. This is the Docker executable file and it was downloaded into my downloads directory. The next thing I'm going to do is double click on it to start the installation process. Then click yes. Once you click yes, it is going to open this configuration. I'll minimize this so you can see what's going on. Then click OK. And there you go. It has started installing Docker on my computer. I'll give it some time to finish installing it. Once Docker has been successfully installed on your computer, click close. Then you should see the Docker icon on your desktop. In case if you don't see it here, select the start menu and you can search for it in here. You can also look under recently added and you will see it here. The next thing we will do is double click the Docker desktop icon to open it. Give it some time, it will take some time for it to load. Once you start Docker, the first thing we will do is accept the terms. So click this box and click accept. Once you open Docker, it is saying login fail and all we have to do is login. You will also see this message about the WSL2 installation. All you have to do is click this link. Once you click that link, it is going to open this Microsoft page. And all you have to do is click this link to download the latest package. I'll click this link. Once you click this link, it will download the file to your computer and you can see it here. I'm going to right click and click show in folder. In my downloads directory, the file is here. I'll double click on it. And I'll click next. Then click yes. I'll move this out of the way. We have successfully updated the package. Once the package has been successfully updated, click finish. The next thing we need to do is come back to the documentation. In the documentation, under step 5, we need to run this command in PowerShell. So let's open PowerShell. I'll click Start menu and I'll type PowerShell in the search box. Once you type PowerShell in the search box, select Windows PowerShell here. And it is going to open PowerShell. All we have to do is copy this command. Click Copy here. And come back to PowerShell. And paste that command in there. Once you paste the command, press enter. Once you paste the command and press enter, that's all we need to do. The operation completed successfully. The next thing we need to do is click this restart button and it is going to restart Docker. I'll select it. Once you have restart Docker, under this login field, close it. The next thing we will do is sign in. Click sign in. It is going to open this page. Enter your Docker ID. Once you enter your Docker ID, click continue. Then enter your password. Once you enter your password, click continue. There you go. I have successfully signed in with my Docker ID. 
The last thing we will do is verify that we have successfully installed Docker on our computer. To verify that Docker has been successfully installed on your computer, open PowerShell again. In PowerShell, type docker space dash v. Once you type docker space dash v, press enter. Once you press enter, if you get an output that is showing you the Docker version that is installed on your computer, it means Docker is successfully installed. This is all we need to do to install Docker on our computer. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.